Hi guys, Todd here. Freshly fed and watered. Just had my dinner. And uh, I've come out to have a little vape on my Richmond Hybrid. Now, Rich from Richmond Hybrid, uh, he got in touch about two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, and asked me if I would like to have a review of this. And I said yes. Uh, the, I am or was aware of the Richmond Hybrid. It's been discussed on a few of the forums, and uh, you know, there's a couple of folk in my forum that actually have it and have praised it. So I was looking forward to it. Um, now, important things first. I got this free for review. Customs <laughs> hit me hard uh, for it and uh, but to buy this in the states and at this moment it does say no international shipping it's 124 dollars 95 cents and that works out about i think it's about 78 pounds 78 pounds for this incredible bargain billy bargain uh, very impressed with that now it's got a 1.3 mil air hole in the top cap. It's got a three millimeter Pyrex tank inside there. You can't see all of it, it's hidden. It's just got a little window there. We'll come in for close-ups, uh, of course, as normal. Um, just now I'm running it in 18650 mode. You can run it in 18350 mode, and you can also run it in 18500 with a kick two which I've been using it with, and it works really well. Uh, no issues with the kick tune at all. Um, what else can I tell you? You've got uh, copper contacts throughout, but they're 24 karat gold plated. Uh, we have a locking ring at the bottom. Lock, open. Locking ring is actually very, very good. It never seems to stick, and it just spins. No problem at all. Uh, Serial number in the bottom with the Richmond logo on it and the very nice button. Um, what else can we tell you? It's 22 millimeters in diameter. And uh, the drip tip that I have on here is actually one of uh, Richmond Vapor's own drip tips, the Little Richie. Um, should have called it the Wee Richie, just for the Scottish out there, because uh, we call everything Wee. Um, other than that, that that's it. The technical specs and stuff like that. Um, I shouldn't do this, or should I do this? I'm going to come out and say this. I mentioned this in a blog the other day. That this is my uh, Diablo hybrid. This reminds me of the Diablo Hybrid quite a lot. And it just feels solid. It's like a tank. It's got that grrr thing going on. It's not all pretty, look at me. It's it's more function than anything else. And and I like that kind of thing. Um, now you can get it in matte or you can get it in polished. And I have the matte finish here. Uh, what we will do is I'll just uh, show you quickly. I'm actually running a uh, what am I running here? I think it's a micro coil, a uh, micro coil with um, cotton. <laughs> Sorry, uh, with cotton and uh, a bit of goose juice in there as well. And you know, it wicks away quite the thing with uh, a cotton wick in there, and I'm having no problems. The other thing is, it's got a reduced chamber in here as well, but we'll get into that and I'll show you in the, the close ups, uh, which we'll do now. So stick with me. Okay, let's get some light on this. Now, this is everything you get. It comes very well packaged. Have to say that now. Very well packaged. Um, 
I'm not going to include the drip tip here. I'll give you a quick look at it. Uh, this, I think, did I say was it $14 or something like that? But this doesn't come with the hybrid kit. But it, it's got the same finish. And uh, I'll just show you it there. Uh, you also, in the kit, you also get spare O-rings and some insulators here as well, which is very good to get them included. But this is everything else that you need. So we've got the two tube sections, the ATI itself with the top cap and the switch. Where will we start? Let's start at the bottom. Start with the switch. Okay, the locking ring. Let's get some focus here first. There we go. Now you can see number 60. That's gold plating down there. And the same here, gold plating over the copper. You've got vent holes there that run right through and hopefully you can just see them there as well. Locking ring. Just great it, it just works really well <laughs> there's not much else i can tell you apart from that apart you know it just works really well um i've not actually been in here as yet so we might as well go in for a, a little nosy oh, oh oh it's magnets is it magnets no it's not magnets that's just a washer uh, right here we go but it's all been plated. Uh, so there we go uh, inside. You can see there's holes going right through the locking ring there for venting, and that's about that. So close that back up, pop that on here. I take it that this washer was sitting in the bottom. like so, so there's a washer in there, and then we'll just screw this back in, and that should be as good to go. So your battery is going to sit on here, and you push the button, it's going to make contact, and that's you, good to go. Nice, simple, basic, but it works, and it works well. Right, so that's the switch. Now you have different tubes. This is a longer of the two tubes, and that enables you to work in 18350 mode. You see, it's got this matte finish to it. I, I, I don't know how it's. I, I don't want to belittle this because it's priced exceptionally well, but uh, you know. Uh, it's not the thickest of stainless steel, shall we say, but, uh, you know, it does the job very, very well. Um, the th I love the threads. The threads are just great. Uh, and I love the fact that the threads aren't actually coated with this finish as well. They are here, but they don't seem to be elsewhere. So that goes on there. And then this would just screw on here and you would be in 18.350 mode. Or you can take the other tube section, this one, which I've actually had a wee polish at. I was just playing about uh, and I can screw that on there. And that's us into 18.650 mode. Sorry, I'm out of focus there, but you get the idea. Um, Right, only thing worth noting here is until you get, there's quite a lot of play in the threads until you get it tightened right up. But that's the same as anything, to be perfectly honest. Where I did notice it was in the, there's quite a lot of play in the top section until you get it screwed in. You see that there? But then the last we turn, and that's it, it's fine. Um, it, it, it's probably nothing. Yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, but I just thought I'd 
point it out. Oops. So that's everything out of the way. We're now down to the atty itself. Now, going from the bottom of the atty, you actually have a pin here. So you can take the rattle out of any of your batteries. So you put your battery in and you adjust this to suit the size of the battery that's inside the device. So you see you can lengthen this and you can shorten it until you take the rattle out of the battery. <coughs> Excuse me, 24 karat gold plated copper. Top cap pulls off like so. And you can see that it's actually sloped in there. So it's actually a bit of a reduced chamber going on. And we have a 1.3 mil air hole. And that's about that. We're then on to the atty itself. Double o-ring affair here holds the, the, the top cap on and no problems at all. Quite like that actually. Uh, all my drip tips work no problem in the top cap as well. So we have 3 mil wick hole, negative post, positive post. And we have a fill hole here as well. Quite the nifty thing is that the fill hole is actually threaded. And when I say threaded, I mean the, the actual top of the screw itself is threaded. So you don't need a screwdriver to, you know, to put this in and out. But I basically, I'll leave it out anyway. Uh, to take this to bits, you just unscrew it. Should really have taken this screw out first. You fool, you, you fool. And there we go. Take the tank out. And yes, you can see there's some goose juice lying <laughs> about there. Nice thick Pyrex tank. See, it's held in there with O-rings, and that's what I was after, was that little bit of cotton that I couldn't get out earlier on. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> just, just rescue that. So there you go. You can actually take the, you know, take this to bits, wash it out, quite the thing. You can see you've got 24 karat gold plating going on there as well. Does not make contact with the juice, I hasten to add. And we just... Stick this back in there, like so. This little uh, insulator piece here, which is just making a break for it. Oh, come to daddy. You know, it's actually going to sit in this well here, if you like. So when you put this top cap back on, make sure my O-rings are lined up properly. The last thing you want is a an o-ring that isn't incorrectly and you can end up putting juice in it will leak everywhere so i'm just uh, taking that little insulator and just popping it down there and that'll also stop leaks as well hopefully take my positive terminal put the screw in there you go remember it's a three mil capacity this and that's it very short deck, uh, very short height for coils, I hasten to add here. Uh, you know, it's going to be a, it's really easy to rebuild on. I have to say that, it's really easy. Uh, even with this little raised deck that's going round here, it's still very easy. Um, in fact, I think I shall put something in this just now and we'll go for a standard wicking coil arrangement. Okay, I'm not doing anything fancy here. I'm just going for tried and tested. Uh, this is a 400 uh, grade stainless steel mesh. And uh, I've just wrapped it. And it's uh, how long did I cut this at? Uh, this was just over 3 centimetres or 32 millimetres in length or height, I should say. And that's just perfect and it was about 40 uh, millimeters in uh, width 
I just rolled it up and uh, gave it a little torch and it's sitting in there quite a thing. So I'll go and find some canthal now. So uh, like I say, nothing fancy. I've just dropped the wick in, unscrewed the positive terminal and the negative terminal and I'm just going to take a bit of 0.2 canthal that I've already flamed, take the tension out of it and I'm just going to pin it around the back of the, the post and take it underneath the, the negative post and just pinch it down like that tighten it up and there you go and I'm actually going to grab this just now and just spin that and take it off so there we go, we're all ready to wrap I'm just going to pull this wick up a little bit just to make sure it isn't touching the bottom of the tank because that will reduce the chances of hot spots uh, I'm just going to wrap it around a few times so there you go, one two three three and a bit I'll just straighten this up There we go. So like I say, nothing fancy or anything like that. Just there. Uh, I'll hopefully get about, I don't know, about 1.2, 1.3 ohms with 0.2 canthal there. Uh, that'll do me. So snap that off. And let's go and find the <laughs> let's go and find the mod in the battery. There we go. Battery's in. Uh, I've done a tiny little bit of pulsing. You're just tapping away. It's just a little bit too hot at the top there. I'll knock that about a bit, about a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's get some juice in here. Okay. Um, let's say I, I, I leave the fill screw out. Uh, just use. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm just used to doing that, leaving the fill screw out. So that goes back in there. Um, might possibly need another turn, but <sighs> wicking away, quite the thing, and uh, no issues. So let's see what it vapes like. It's quite nice in 18350 mode. Quite nice indeed. In fact, it's almost identical in height to the Diablo. It's a wee bit shorter. Wow! That's a good... locked. Put that down a second. I really hope, and I know this is American, this is an American product that's going to sell in the States and at this moment in time I can see it doesn't ship internationally. I really, really hope that people in the UK can actually buy this at some point or the EU and that the price point remains about the same. If this, if we could get this here for about say a hundred quid, I would thoroughly recommend one. Thoroughly recommend one. Um, I have been vaping it with cotton for you know for most of the day and a bit yesterday, and. It was really nice. It was a, a mild vape. 
uh, with the cotton uh, and the goose juice. That's me. I've put my custard with a little hint of menthol in there um, and at a low resistance. Now I've been on a, a cotton and silica kick for quite a while and you know you forget how bloody good a genesis with a, just a bit of stainless steel mesh in there you forget how bloody good it is, it's just great it's it's full on, <laughs> it really is um, listen this, this thing's just I'm going to end up polishing this, I'll tell you that now maybe not because I kind of like it the throw on the switch it doesn't fire uh, I mean a, a full tank and uh, an 18650 battery and everything in it and it doesn't fire when I set it down lock it and you know sits perfectly back again in the dark uh, it's a bit better uh, sorry, I had to dash out, uh, been away for a few hours and uh, took it with me, changed the drip tip to one of Jim's uh, Teflon tips and uh, still vaping away like a just exceptional vape. Uh, I'll stop this now, I don't feel I've got any I need to head on. Uh, only things of note, do I have any issues with this? Forgetting the price and just judging it. The stainless steel doesn't feel weighty, as in, you know, it's not like two mods 18350, and I mean, the Diablo feels like a brick compared to this. It's quite a, it's quite light for its size. Um, that's not, not a negative. Uh, the plate, nah, nah, this is not a negative again, it's just my opinion. Uh, the 24 karat gold plating, it's either been done exceptionally well or it has a bit of a cheap feel to it. I, I, I don't know how to translate that well. Uh, you know, I've seen 24 karat gold plating done before and it, it looks like it's been home plated. Uh, this has either been plated in a factory or just plated really, really well because I just can't fault it at all. Um, so I'm just talking nonsense there. Um, the the matte finish, uh, I don't know how that's going to hold up to dings and you know keys and things like that. Uh, there were a few marks on the tube when it arrived. The, with a Cape Cod cloth that came out. Um, I love the design with the tank. Top cap, reduced, do you know, the reduced uh, chamber. Um, like it in 18350. I like the fact that it works with a kick too. Um, there's not a lot that I do not like about this. Uh, the only thing that I've been thinking about is you know the I don't know what that was the the insulator and the top cap you know that's going to keep e liquid out and stop it draining down uh, that's the only thing I would possibly keep an eye out for but oh, I just pop right stop now stop Todd stop I wish we could buy these in the UK. If this could be sold in the UK for, what did I say, it was £78. It translates to if you buy it in the States. Import fees and whatnot and shipping. Just say you could get this for 100 Shipped here. What a bargain. What a bargain. This, I would recommend this to anybody if they, were, if they wanted to buy their first hybrid. Uh, this, this, this would be great for the money. It really would. Um, suitably impressed.
Rich, if you watch this, sir, thank you very much for sending this on. I think you've done an outstanding job, personally. Um, and uh, I have no issues recommending this to anybody, and I would happily have bought it with my own money. Um, thanks to everybody for watching, as always. Uh, remember, go and watch other reviews and read other write-ups and see what other people think before you go spending your money. And uh, that's about that. I'm a way to vape my lungs out with this puppy. As always, catch you soon. Cheers now. Bye. The guy that owns it, runs it. He got in touch about two and a half weeks ago, and this has just crashed. Has it crashed? Let's. I fucking hate this program. I think I hate this program. Oh, it's back now. No, let's just stop.